Welcome to Electron Online and now let's start talking about the odds in horse racing. So typically what they do is they, they have the odds against or the odds for a horse. Typically it's the odds against a horse. That means the odds against a horse winning. And in this case, let's say we have a horse silver and the odds against silver are 7 to 2, which means it's the ratio between or the ratio of the probability of the horse not winning divided by the horse winning. All right. So let's say that there's two possibilities, two horses. And so that means that the probability would be 7 to 9 divided by 2 to 9. So it could be, of course, if there's more horses, then, of course, the, the bottom number will become bigger. But let's say there's two horses, one that's silver, one that's not silver. So the, the odds against silver are 7 to 2, which means the probability is 7 to 9 versus 2 to 9 that silver will win. And so when we go ahead and... Um, what that means is that if you pay a $2 ticket, so if you pay $2 on the horse and silver wins, you get a 7 to 2 payout, which means you'll get $7 to a payout on the $2 plus typically your ticket back. But that used to be kind of in the old days. So what that means, if, if you pay, if you pay $2 and your horse wins, and the odds against the horse is 7 to 2, then you'll make or gain, maybe I'll just write the word gain, so you'll gain $7 per $2 investment, per $2, and I'll just put that in quotes because it's not really a good investment, of course, when you start horse racing, but if you pay a ticket or buy a ticket for $2 on silver, and silver happens to win, and if the odds are 7 to 2, that means they'll pay you $7 for a $2 ticket. Then they give you the $2 back, so you would then normally get $9 back. But I hear that in today's world, they no longer give you the $2 back. They just give you the odds. So in case silver wins and the odds are 7 to 2, then um, you only get $7 back. So you don't gain $7. The gain now becomes only five dollars because they give seven to two they already gave them two dollars they give you two dollars back plus another five dollars so again it's not as easy to make money on horse racing as it used to be so again the way we do that odds against that simply means the ratio of the probability of silver not winning divided by silver winning the bigger the odds the less likely you are to win the smaller the odds the more likely you are to win usually the horse that is rated the highest um, Let's say that the odds against Bronco, Bronco, let's say the odds are 2 to 2. Well, we call that even odds, which means that if you buy, you buy a $2 ticket on Bronco and Bronco wins, they give you $2 back and you didn't make a penny. That's not a good deal. But then, of course, Bronco probably was a big favorite and wasn't a lot of chance that any, or, any other horse would win. So let's say we have Bronco in there, and you have silver in there, and you bet on Bronco, you get your money back. You bet on silver, you make $5 on the $2 investment. All right. Okay, so odds against Bronco, 2 to 2, which means even odds. And so if you then calculate that in the terms of probabilities, then this would be equal to 2 divided by 9, divided by 2, divided by 9, which is equal to simply 1. And therefore, that's what's called even odds. And uh, now hopefully you have some sort of idea what we mean by odds on, odds against, or odds for an event. So in case you want to go horse racing, at least you're somewhat prepared. Not that I recommend horse racing. Worst investment in the world. Talk to you later. <laughs> against the probability that, w that um, or I shouldn't say that yet. It's, okay, let me start over again. I thought I had it. <laughs> All right, ready?